guys today another planner video yay <laughs> um i'm pretty new to planning uh if you saw my first video you'll find out that this year this is my first planner and i did decide to make it myself um but i love it i'm obsessed with it like it keeps me more organized and then it lets me be like artistic and fun at the same time to decorate it which keeps me interested but anyways if you want to see my diy planner you can check out my first video and today i just made like a couple more accessories for that diy planner because i'm just trying to come up with more things i can make myself to help enhance my planner experience and make it more useful so okay i wanted to make something to uh, house all my pencils and pens and markers that I use um, in my planner most of the time and because uh, where I was keeping them before let me show you real quick um, was in this little pouch in the back here the zippy pocket but that didn't work too well for me because it would like bulk the planner up and then when I wrote it would be all like bumpy and squiggly so I wanted to make something that I could attach to like a planner band and I wanted to use this duct tape that I already had because it was pretty and inexpensive. So I started out by um, pulling off strips to make the pouch with and I made them like around eight and a half maybe nine inches long which you don't have to do it that long if you had like a normal size planner that's not a full binder like mine you can make it like five six inches long you know whatever you prefer so it's not so humongous but this is my first time making it right here on camera so I'm kind of winging it and uh, once I cut that strip I had to cut a few more and lay them out together see the pencil or this marker fits in there and it leaves a lot more room so you can actually hold sticky notes or washi tape or whatever else you want in this pouch when it's done okay here are all my strips lined up um, I just eyeballed it and made about seven of them and now you want to just pull them on top of each other so they overlap because the stickiness of the duct tape is what's gonna like keep it together and make it into a pouch <laughs> See where I'm folding it right here is about where the flap to open it will be. I'm just kind of free measuring it out a little bit and then the bottom will be where the pens go. I decided to use regular silver duct tape for the inside because you won't see it so I didn't want to waste any of my pretty duct tape on a part that you're not going to see. And you just want to um, kind of line the inside because obviously you don't want the inside to remain sticky if you're going to be putting things in there. So I just lined up pretty much the whole inside. Then for the top portion here, I did use some of the pretty duct tape because that's the flap that's going to open so you're actually going to see it and I wanted it to look nice. Now I just wanted to measure out like where the band would be um, in the little pouch, pouch case thingy but um, because I don't want that part to be sticky because I don't want it sticking to it because I think it might interfere with like the stretch of it so I'm just marking it with a pen so that I know to add some tape there so that it's not sticky. Now I'm just cutting out little matching pieces of tape uh, for the opposite side because you see when you fold it over 
the planner band or headband or whatever you use is gonna also be on that side so you have to match that up so that's not sticky either. I figured out it's a lot easier to like assemble this if you put the band on the planner because it kind of holds it in place so you can line it up really nicely without the duct tape like scrunching up. So just line that up so that way the non-sticky portion is over the band because that's going to stay in there forever. It's like going to be attached to it. After you press it down real nice, I needed a way to close it. And I like to use Velcro for a lot of stuff. So I just cut some pieces. I decided to go with two um, to stick on the flap so that way I could just open and close it really easily whenever I needed to use it. Here is the finished little pencil case thingy and just put all your pens and whatever you like. As you can see this one's humongous so I can put whatever in it and close it up. Just put it back over your planner like so. And there you go. It's just like a little portable thing. You can slide it up and down. And whenever you want to use a pen, it just goes right with your planner everywhere you go. And you just pull it out, use it, and it's done. So I had this idea to make my own stamps. And I bought this little foam sheet from Walmart. Uh, for I think less than a dollar but um, you know you need scissors some kind of craft glue and then I have some ink so that I can test it out when I'm done and I'm just using some corrugated cardboard as the base of the stamp and I'm gonna cut out a piece of this cardboard the shape and size of one of my daily squares so you can like gauge that to whatever size stamp you want or whatever size squares your planner has then I just sketched out like a picture of a diamond because I wanted to make a diamond stamp. I kind of wanted to go with something pretty easy. So since I'm not an artist or anything like that. And then cut it out because it's going to be your uh, template for your stamp. Now I just used my template like traced around it to cut it with the scissors to cut out the same shape from the foam. And then the next step is to cut the foam into those like triangular pieces because if I just left it solid it would just be a very dull flat shape of a diamond so I wanted like the space in between them so you can tell what it is. And just to like test it out, if you line it up here real quickly, it'll pretty much give you the shape of a diamond when you put all the pieces together like it is in the drawing. Then I used my craft glue to stick it onto the cardboard and I just used my pen to move around. It's like easier than using your finger to try to do it. And let's test it out and see what it looks like. Ta-da! So, those are the latest things that I've made for my planner recently, and I'm gonna keep coming up with more stuff. Um, I'm trying to buy as least new things as I can to make my planner nice and customized, personal. If you have subscribed, I want to say thank you. I'm very new to this, 
and uh, I don't have like the best equipment and all that stuff so hopefully it'll get better but if you haven't subscribed please feel free to and look forward to more planner crafty DIY videos in the future and thank you for watching and God bless